Hello guys, welcome to the latest episode of Every Platform and welcome to back to West Sussex for the third and uh, well, one of the last really uh, trips I do in the county. I've still got a couple of stations here and there on different lines which are also in West Sussex but this is the last fully West Sussex day that I need to do and we are on the West Coastway line. Um, we are here at Southbourne Station, located in, of course, West Sussex. Every station we go to today near enough is West Sussex. Until we get to the end, and we'll probably enter into a little bit of East Sussex as we near Brighton, but I'll let you know what's what then. Um, if you do us check out any updates on trips and posts, check out my Facebook group, and also check out my Instagram, KTBVids, as well as my Twitter, at KTBVids96. Um, talk more about the station in a minute, but uh, today's uh, TOC or brand is going to be a Thameslink Railway, so we'll be seeing Southern's brand. We'll be using them all day today. Uh, you'll also see a few buses in the trip as well. So uh, mostly stagecoach and also a bit of uh, Brighton Hove as well. So they'll be featuring in today's video. We actually have a train arriving, which is going to be 377 uh, 104. This is, I believe, heading for Portsmouth Harbour. I think it's Southampton Central actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this, uh, this train's for Southampton Central from uh, London, Victoria. So we'll see this one when it leaves. Let's begin today's video of every platform here in West Sussex as we clear the West Coastway line in full properly. Alright, going up now is 377104, heading off to Southampton Central. And actually, funnily enough, as that one comes in, in comes the 0859 sub service from Southampton Central to London, Victoria. So the basically the vice versa service. In it comes crossing over the uh, level crossing which is uh, just next to the station there it's 377114 very busy as well not surprised it's the cheaper way to london all right now going out is the 0859 service to london victoria We have 377114. So, um, a couple of trains there. Um, we'll try and keep it short and sweet and we'll talk about the station in just a moment. So, uh, this station, Southbourne, um, not a lot of history. The station uh, was opened in 1906 and was called Southbourne Halt. You can see why, because it basically looks like a halt, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, the actual place though is a village in a civil parish and it's technically part of Chichester. Uh, it was near enough. Um, it's kind of, it lies, it's right next to the border of Hampshire as well where Emsworth is, because Emsworth's in Hampshire. Um, so yeah, it's uh, sort of like a border station between the two counties. Um, but the station holds next to no sort of significance in that sense because it's only a small little village and sort of uh, a civil parish if you like um but yeah this is sort of a almost on the outskirts of chichester that's how you can really know it um but yeah the service is here uh usually southampton london victoria calls here and they go straight to chichester uh southampton brighton also does that uh or portsmouth brighton is one of them and then um i think it's portsmouth brighton that does it and then also the regular stopper here, which is uh, Portsmouth and South Sea to Littlehampton, which uh, up until this, uh, I think it was May this year, was operated by three on threes. Sadly, they have now retired and it's now, I believe, 377-3s, so three car, 377s. So yeah. Anyway, that's Southbourne. The next station for us is Nutbourne. I'll update you soon. 
Okay, arriving now to the video 921 Southern Service to uh, Littlehampton from Portsmouth and Southsea. This is going to be our train to take us to Nutbourne and it is 377327. Date you when we reach Nutbourne. Okay, we now reached Nutbourne and going out is 377-327 heading to uh, Littlehampton. Because that one, and um, we'll update you in a second. Well, there goes 377, uh, I think it was 49 past through, heading over to uh, Southampton Central. The reason I actually turned the clip on was to this one coming through. Oh, yeah, level crossing's gone up. Better go down again because this 377 is about to stop update you in a minute For some reason the level crossing's gone up here uh, yeah, it's it's yeah. probably oh yeah red signal that's why yeah, there we go. right leaving now 377402 to London Victoria we didn't actually call here it was just waiting at red signal So, um, as that one goes through, this is Nutbourne Station. Uh, this one is located, um, it's kind of like the Chichester District, it's what it's called, uh, of West Sussex. So it's like a district, but it's called the Chichester District. Um, the station doesn't hold a lot of facts about it, um, other than the fact that uh, the, the, road, the, the station spans off the A27, um, the A27 even. But that's about it. <laughs> There's actually not a lot to this station. Um, but it actually serves the little village of Hambrook, which you can see here. Uh, Nutbourne is actually just part of Chichester, Chichester District, but it spans a few villages and hamlets. So, yeah. Uh, basically, a carbon copy of Southbourne with a level crossing right here. Uh, except the level crossing is on the Brighton end, whilst at Southbourne it's on the Portsmouth end. So, yeah, that's about it. Next station for us will be Fishbourne. We're going to get a bus there and we'll update you soon. Right, leaving now, 377402 to London Victoria. We didn't actually call here, it was just waiting at red signal. So, um, as that one goes through, this is Nutbourne Station. Uh, this one is located, um, it's kind of like the Chichester District, it's what it's called, uh, of West Sussex. So it's like a district, but it's called the Chichester District. Um, the station doesn't hold a lot of facts about it, um, other than the fact that uh, the, the, road, the, the station spans off the A27, um, the A27 even, but that's about it. <laughs> There's actually not a lot to this station, um, but it actually serves the little village of Hambrook, which you can see here. Uh, Nutbourne is actually just part of Chichester, Chichester District, but it spans a few villages and hamlets. So, yeah. Uh, basically, a carbon copy of Southbourne with a level crossing right here, uh, except the level crossing is on the Brighton end, whilst at Southbourne it's on the Portsmouth end. So, yeah, that's about it. Next station for us will be... Fish form. We're gonna get a bus there and we'll update you soon. Oh, that's quite nice. Right, uh, the partner there was uh, 15992. 15, yeah, heading over to uh, Chichester. 
that's the 700 goes all the way to Brighton I believe it splits itself into two services which is quite an interesting little run not a really a little run though is it it's a massive run it's about three and a half hours yeah because it comes all the way from Portsmouth it's such a long way to Brighton I'd love to do that one day that's just it will be good wouldn't it it's definitely something um, right so we're now on Fishbourne and we're going to make our way to the station we'll update you shortly Right, we've just now arrived into Fishbourne and passing through now is a southern service heading to Southampton Central. I think that one came from Brighton. 377474. There it goes. Uh, we're now at Fishbourne and we'll update you about it in just a minute. <laughs> right, so this is uh, Fishbourne Station. Uh, located uh, in the village of Fishbourne. Uh, this station has a little bit of history. It actually uh, used to be a junction um, for the it was the Midhurst Railways branch which go to Midhurst, went to Midhurst from uh, Chichester. Um, but just east of the station which is here is the Fishbourne crossing which is where the track veered off. It was a single track as well and just went to Midhurst but obviously it doesn't it's not open now. Uh, station opened in 1906 as well uh, so yeah but yeah that's one little bit of history is it used to be a junction so there you go um, we're going to get a train back to Bosham now so we're going back on ourselves and uh, we'll update you when our train arrives um, just small coverage of the station today so we've got quite a bit to do so yeah but we'll update you soon right so uh, arriving now is a 1016 southern service to Portsmouth and Southsea uh, this will be 377 137. We've actually got a four car on this one. Sorry, I was getting a station sign. Update you when we reach Bosham. Right, we're now here at Bosham. It's actually pronounced Bosham, which I didn't realise. This one's probably the biggest station that we've seen so far. This has actually got a canopy, a piece of catenary, a piece of something. It just, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's something anyway. Um, the station's got its own waiting room, it's got a ticket hall and everything. Um, but again, hourly service. The station looks like it used to be a lot more important than what it used to be. Anyway, I'll update you shortly. Right, so very quickly, we only have a short time here at Bosnum. Um, the station, again, I thought it was actually uh, had a significant history, but it doesn't really. Uh, the station, again, opened in the early 1900s, just like the others did. But an interesting fact about the village itself, and uh, cool. for those who do watch TV, is that an episode of The X Files was filmed there, but it was actually only a set. Uh, and it was only like a couple of scenes, I think. I don't know the details of it, but I know that th that's that was basically it was in the media for that reason. They chose this place, not the station, but the actual village. Uh, yeah, it was a cold open set, so like when they did the cold open stuff, um, it was filmed in Bosom. So there you go. Um, uh, that's the station. And uh, whilst I yap away, arriving in is our 1027 Southern Service to Littlehampton, which we're taking to Littlehampton. That's the four stations on this section towards Chichester, between Chichester that we need to do. I've already cleared Emsworth and Chichester already, so uh, it's now straight to oh, Littlehampton. We have 325. Yep, 377, 320 on this one. And 
the next stop for us after this, well, we'll update you, will be Little Hampton. So, see you there. Right, I didn't update you at Little Hampton because I thought it might just be more worth updating you here at Goring by Sea that we just arrived at because we've already cleared Little Hampton on another video. So, if you want to see that, Three seven seven four zero three and three seven seven one four six. But yeah, if you want to see uh, Little Hampton, have a look at my very first West Sussex video. There's Little Hampton featured on that one. So yeah. Um, so we changed there, and now we're here at Gorby by Sea. We're now on the uh, back on the West Coast Road, so we went inwards into a, a junction into Little Hampton because it's on its own branch, and then came back out onto this line um, to make our way. And now we're making our way to Brighton. So. This is Goring by Sea. Um, weirdly enough, two station signs here. One has got hyphens and the other one doesn't. Uh, obviously its official title does have hyphens. So yes, update you soon. Okay, a couple of facts about Goring by Sea. So this station uh, is in the town or village, sorry, of Goring by Sea. It's sort of a neighborhooding, a neighborhood of Worthing, kind of what it is. Uh, why did I say neighbourhooding? That's not even a word. Um, it kind of was its own civil parish, but it's sort of joined in with Worthing now. That's basically what it is. Uh, kind of... Um, it's been like that since the early 19... Well, since the 1930s, near enough. So, um, But... the It's a bit like the other four stations we went to, or particularly Southbourne... No, actually all of them, yeah, because pretty much they're all part of the Chichester district and some of these are part of the Worthing district. So, yeah. Um, as well as that, the station's won the Best Kept Station Award a few back in the 80s. And uh, in 2020, the platform was extended to accommodate eight coaches. But when you actually get on the train um, to Goring by Sea, the automated announcer, Julie Berry, says... Uh, that it can only accommodate five coaches so they haven't actually updated that so yeah uh, anyway so that is uh, Goring by Sea uh, we are now going to get a bus and the next stop is Worthing for us we're going to sort of double back a couple of times but Worthing is the next station for us we'll update you soon okay we now made it to Worthing and now there's our bus an E200 on the 10 just going from Durrington to Worthing around about 20 minutes nearly 20 minutes late surprisingly it's an E200 it's the only one that's actually on the route so lucky us mainly because it's not even a modified engine it's literally just a regular engine E200 great um, update you shortly There's 377441, there is a couple of other, I think there is another one on the front, but I can't get that one. But so that's just a part of Worthing. Here we are, uh, this is Worthing Station. Uh, it's one of five stations in the town of Worthing. It's quite crazy to think. Uh, the others being East Worthing, West Worthing, Durrington-on-Sea and Goring-by-Sea. Which I did say, uh, the latter two are Worthing District. So... Uh, yeah, so, um, and it is also, all trains are timetabled to stop here, and it is one of the most important stations on the West Coastway line, so, yes. Um, so, yeah, the station itself serves the big town of Worthing, it is a bit of a holiday place, this, uh, this town, um, so, it, you know, a lot of holiday goers do come here. Um, I think this is also a good place for second homes, or at least this neck of the woods, like Lansing and Worthing, that sort of direction, um, around this sort of area, it's quite good for that, but I can imagine it's quite expensive as well. Um, the station does have three platforms, um, the two platforms you see are the ones that are used for the majority of the time, platform one, which is the furthest one along as you can see, is a peak time platform generally only used during that period of time otherwise it sometimes for trains to terminate if they need to like maybe short notice cancellations or whatever but yeah 
Um, and yeah, it's also worth saying that until May last year, this line was served by Great Western Railway, if you remember. I'm sure many of you on my channel will remember Great Western Railway going to Brighton. They have now ceased that service and now it does no longer run, so you won't be seeing them. For those who didn't know, I imagine a lot do know, but they have stopped the Great Malvern Brightons now. They have stopped it for over a year, so sad times. Uh, I nearly did it, <laughs> got as far as Worcester Fortgate Street, and then because uh, the train was delayed due to having no driver. There were a lot of uh, train crew problems at that time, so it was just post COVID, I think it was uh, 2021, I think I remember. So, yeah, um, uh, we're now going to make our way over to Darrington on Sea, so we'll update you soon. Yeah, now arriving is the 1240 Southern Service to Littlehampton from, from London Victoria as you saw a member on track there. Um, scare off a seagull, 377211 and there is someone else in the rear but uh, we'll see if we can get that later on. Durrington on sea for this one, but there you soon. Um, right, part now now, we're here now at Durrington on sea as 377211 and something else. 377152 They both now depart, heading over to Littlehampton from London, Victoria. And here we are now at Durrington on Sea. And uh, we'll talk more about the station in just a moment. So it's a bit of a flying visit here. We've only got about six minutes here because it's part of the plan. This is Durrington on Sea, again in the Worthing district. Uh, this station uh, was actually designed, um, the architect to the Southern Railway actually designed this station. Um, so it was kind of like a, a modernist style. That's uh, basically what they did. Um, it was criticised though, it said it was really grim. It doesn't look, it does kind of look, a, it doesn't look a, that amazing, but uh, you know. I would imagine, uh, well, people don't like it, then uh, is what it is. But yeah, they said it was like the grimmest, uh, it's called the grimmest stop in the south. That's what they call Durrington on Sea. Our train is here, which is 377412, heading to Brighton. Uh, this train is very busy, this will be fun. Uh, so yeah, that's Durrington on Sea done. Flying visit. Got a little look at the station. And uh, we're now going to head to West Worthing. We'll update you soon. Right, going out now is going to be the 1252 service to Brighton from Southampton Central. Three seven seven four one two. And uh, we're now at West Worthing Station. Um, so there's three, there's three stations with the name Worthing in them. Worthing, West Worthing and East Worthing. We've now done two of them. The other one we're getting a bus to. Um, the bus service we're actually getting is called Pulse. Or as Bus Times knows it, P-U-L-S. But it's operated by uh, Root branded Enviro 300s. So that'll be interesting and uh, there's a lot of them on the map as well. But enough about that, um, we'll update you about the station in a minute. So, West Worthing Station. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, another one of the five stations in town. Uh, we've now actually done four of the five ones, so we've only got one left, which is East Worthing. Um, this station, interestingly, is that no short of incidents that have happened. So in 2020, a 313 caught fire here. And in 2022, unfortunately, a driver was killed uh, in the siding um, because I think, well, they got out the cab and then they were struck by a 37. So I don't know if you actually heard that because it's so windy. But yeah, a driver got struck by a 377 when they left the cab. Uh, they left safely and everything, but uh, I think it was because uh, they went to the toilet and the 313s don't have, didn't have toilets and at the time they were still running them. This was in 2022, so it wasn't actually that long ago. Um, the also the former depot building 
which I would imagine is was over there, uh, was demolished in 2008 because they found uh, it was really in really poor condition and it's actually filled with um, asbestos, so they had to get rid of it. Um, and for those maybe younger viewers who don't know what that is, it's uh, quite a deadly sort of sub substance that uh, is quite easy to breathe in and causes illness. So for safety, they uh, had to get rid of it if they find it. It happens with anything, or to try to get rid of it. Anyway, uh, I'm sure it's quite known anyway, in terms of general knowledge. But yeah, um, I will update you shortly, but that is West Worthing Station. Um, trains also used to terminate here, as I just said as well, but they don't anymore. So, uh, it used to be right into West Worthing service, and not anymore. Update you soon. No, I have to chuck it in, guys. Murky, murky subway. Look at it. <laughs> this one does not look nice. Welcome to West Worthing's it's murky too subway. It's too small. Does not look yeah, nice at all. This is literally an Oakley. Um, yeah, this reminds me of Oakley, actually. That one's just as poor. <laughs> and Liam just tripped over. Nice. No. Update you soon. So we just got off uh, an Enviro 300, the Pulse, oh. that one there, we just got off. And now we're going to head to East Worthing, so I'll update you shortly. Right, so we're now here at East Worthing and our train is just about to come in. Um, this station, uh, it's quite nice actually, the way you look at it. Very quick glimpse of it because we're not going to be here for very long. Um, it's about nine miles from Bryson, and uh, it's actually the settlement at East Worthing. That's what it is. It's just a local station, a suburban station. Three seven seven four six zero. Platforms are still quite short, short though, so they can only accommodate a four coach. Which is interesting. Just a quick glimpse at the other station, East Worthing. And we'll update you when we reach uh, Shoreham by Sea. Right, we're now here at Shoreham by Sea, and departing right now is 377460, heading off to Brighton. This one is from Southampton Central. is actually no it is double check actually quite sure that that is a southampton brighton 377460 anyway uh it is yeah southampton central to brighton so this is shoreham by sea uh we'll update you in a minute okay so this station shoreham by sea uh to serve the uh town of the same thing um also serves the nearby uh, which is the right in the city uh, doesn't actually get off right now for um, the only company that really run there or only airlines there out at the moment that's from last year but uh, yeah Brighton City Airport this is the nearest station to it, it is located in Shoreham by Sea or nearby to it so as as was the case with most airports they're named something and they're actually located outside of it uh because they obviously need the the uh the space to build the runway and everything um so what is it to say about the station it was originally a terminus um and the original building was demolished in the 1840s but in 1846 it all merged and um into becoming the London Brighton South Coast Railway so it went all the way to Brighton but it acted as a terminus for quite a while uh, no, just after it um, yeah so that is uh, Shoreham by Sea um, the platforms can handle up to 12 coaches so that's no issue at all the platforms are very long as you can see our next station is Portslade and uh, this is going to be the first appearance in the video uh, for Brighton, which we'll be using next. I'll update you soon. 
Okay, so we're just waiting on um, Brighton Hove. I must say, they are actually running really here and quite badly late. I'd imagine it's because of traffic in Brighton itself. So, um, guys, today was a year on from the uh, Derbyshire trip. Now, if you remember in Derbyshire, Brandon here, Southern Train Spot 206, he is here, by the way, says, um, where's Ambergate, if you remember? Well, funnily enough, and he hasn't actually done it on purpose, he's just turned around here at Shoreham and gone Shoreham by sea. Where's Shoreham? Why? Ah. Have you not learned from last time? I, I, think the, I think the sun's getting to my head. Oh, guys. Yeah, you do. Anyway, definitely need to do that. Anyway, we'll update you soon. Right, off goes. Brighton Hobes. Uh, B9 Gemini 2, 411, uh, heading off to Rottingdean via Brighton. Uh, those buses are really badly delayed because in Port Slade, just before our bus stop, there was a really, really bad accident uh, to the point where I think an entire junction was cordoned off and there were fire trucks, ambulances, police cars, the, the, obvious, the obvious emergency services. But the whole road was so bad and blocked off that they had to do three point turns to go back. So our bus diverted via some back roads and they're snorting like pigs. So uh, we'll update you soon. So we, uh, after getting off that B9, we're now here at Port Slade Station. Um, we did encounter, like I say, some delays at Shore and by Sea. Uh, that was just with waiting for uh, the bus to turn up. We could have got the train, but we had time to kill because we don't leave Hove until later. Um, we're not actually going to be going to Brighton on this video, just letting you know. We did originally plan to, but because our ticket, or Brandon's ticket, is uh, valid for Hope, we thought it might just be easier to finish up there, especially given that we're running a little bit behind schedule now. But, which means we mix the stations up. So the next station we're going to is Aldrington. But before we do, we'll talk about this station. Port Slade is actually on the fringes of Aldrington. It's actually really just outside. And the station is only two minutes away. They're only two minutes apart. Not even that, maybe. Um, but it's a part also commonly known as West Hove. Um, so this, this maybe could be part of that, but yeah, that's basically what it is. Um, yeah, that is basically this station. Uh, as for technically known as Port Slade and West Hove, that will be its full name. Um, but it, yeah, so it's located in Port Slade by sea. Um, but we're actually in East Sussex now, so we've actually crossed over. So we've done most of West Sussex. We've only got Lansing left, but no, we're going back to that shortly. But uh, yeah, so that's Port Slade done. We'll wait for our train and make our way to Aldrington. Okay, we've got a couple of trains here. First of all, we've got 377441 heading to Littlehampton from London, Victoria. Along with 377433 and passing. We also have a service to Brighton. Oh no, London, Victoria. 377465 and 448. That's actually a cancelled service. It was meant to go to, uh, meant to stop here from Littlehampton to Victoria, but it got cancelled, I think, between Littlehampton and home and running non stop. So, yeah, update you soon. Okay, arriving in now is uh, 1543 Southern Service to Brighton from Southampton Central and we're taking this to Aldrington 377435 and we'll update you when we get there right departing Aldrington now is 377435 Heading off to Brighton. And this is Aldrington. The station is technically West Hove. Um, and you can see the, uh, the slightly staggered platforms and the fact that this station, well, it does have a shelter right here. 
but it's a very basic station in its design and everything um, so yeah uh, we are going to be going over across the way to platform 2 to go catch the 1606 service to uh, Lansing that's our next one and then remaining after that is Southwick and Fishers Gate and Fishers Gate will be the last one we do today so yes um, update you in a minute so if we want to talk about a uh, station that definitely had significance but doesn't really now in terms of the railway Aldrington is it um, there used to be a station called Dyke Junction I'll try that again Dyke Junction Holt um, which used to run on a branch line to Devil's Dyke which closed in uh, the uh, 1940s I believe um, so we actually have a train passing through us I'm talking about this uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was closed in 1939, but this station was the junction for it. Um, Aldrington Holt, it was called, I believe, the station. And then there was Devil uh, Dyke Junction Holt, which which connected up with uh, Devil's Dyke on the branch line. Um, so yeah, that's the fact about this station. And passing through, we have a service from... Do -do 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 -do. Uh, Little Hampton to London, Victoria, 377403. And 377146. We had this, we had that one earlier. So there you go. Back again. So that one goes, and the next stop for us is going to be uh, Lansing. I'll admit as well, this station's odd because <laughs> you've got to go out of here and you've got to walk all the way around. So it's a bit of a walk to actually go basically from here to there. It's almost like uh, you, well, you've got to walk around and you've got to come back on yourself basically. It's really weird um, the way the entrance is and the way it's all laid out. But it's like you're almost leaving the station and walking down, that, walking down an alley which is kind of weird but interesting little design and a location for a station but that's the railway i guess update you soon okay passing now is 377107 and 377133 heading to littlehampton the line speed won't be that fast here because most of them, well, all of, almost all of them, will uh, slow down for Hove or speed up leaving. So yeah. Okay, uh, returning is three seven seven four three five, and we're going to be taking this uh, over. This is heading to Portsmouth Harbour, and we're going to be taking this to Lansing. The sixteen oh six service. And we'll update you when we get to Lansing. Right, there goes 377435, departing out, and the station we are at now is Lansing, with, with a massive Asda right outside it, not actually that big, um, and uh, one of the station signs has some orange tape over it, oh very nice. Um, so this station is uh, another one of those places that seems to be, I know that uh, just a family story, but I'm sure my grandparents came here on holiday a few times to this neck of the woods anyway. Um, and I know that it's a quite a popular sort of just nice little holiday place with holiday homes and second homes. A bit like Worthing really, this place is kind of similar. So yeah, anyway, um, we'll talk more about the station in a minute, probably. Okay, so Lansing Station. <laughs> Um, not a lot really to it. Uh, it's in Lansing, obviously. <laughs> I love saying that, just make it so obvious where it is. Um, this station did have uh, another platform extension, pretty much all of them have a platform extension to accommodate eight or even 12 uh, trains they need, and mostly eight because that's what usually runs along here. Um, 
There are ticket barriers here as well. This is one of the other only stations on the line that has ticket barriers. Um, although surprisingly, a lot of them are well staffed for what they are. Um, right from the very start, Southbourne, it's got a tiny little ticket booth with someone sat in it, um, which is quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Lansing. Uh, as for the place itself, uh, it is the large coastal village, and I did say like it's a good place for holiday goers as well. Mm, Usually is. Yes. So yes. Um, right, so we're going to say bye to Liam. Who's joined us today? I haven't really seen who's joined today, but we've had Liam, we've got Alex, we've got Brandon. Unfortunately. But uh, unfortunately, we've had you too, Liam. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, but everybody loves me. So. No, he said unfortunately to the others, so that's payback. Anyway, we're going to cross over and we're going to make our way over to uh, Southwick, so it takes shortly. Right, so 377104 is now here. And we're now going to take this one forward over to Southwick. So uh, we'll take you shortly. Right, we're now here at Southwick. You might not be able to hear me very well. It's very windy. We didn't hear that, definitely. Might be able to hear me a bit better now. So 377149 there, the parts out to Southampton Central and uh, this station is Southwick. Uh, the nearest station to Shoreham Port, um, which I would imagine is a uh, I'm not too, actually too sure about that one. See what I did there? Sure. That was that was genuinely unintentional. Um, but this station is so a lot of these stations do you notice some of them have really weird calling patterns. Basically a Portsmouth to Brighton. That'll call here. No, sorry, call it Fisher's Gate. And then a Southampton Brighton will call at Aldrington. So it's really weird. And all the other way around, it's it's one of them. Um, obviously the services to Victoria, they don't call at all of them. Um, these are Brighton services to call here. Um, but yeah, there's not obviously a great deal to, to know about it. Um, however, again, this uh, passes through the A25 on Coast Road. Um, but yeah, there's not really to say about the station really. Um, it's kind of a uh, quiet station, I would say, but it does a lot of these stations do just serve a lot of the small sort of suburbs and villages and towns, mostly suburban villages of other towns. Um, basically, what it is. Um, but yeah, it is a new station, the home of Shore and Port, as the station sign says as well. Um, so yeah, that is uh, Southwick again, like I say. It's um, served by Portsmouth Brighton every half an hour. Uh, I think Southampton Brighton also calls here, but again, the alternate calling points afterwards. Um, it's also a very, very windy station, which is why we think these protective shields are up, because to stop the, uh, because it seems like there's a, well, the wind is crazy here. And it's not been like this at any of the other places. And although there has been a bit of a yellow warning for wind, you know, there we go. Anyway, we once have been yapping on, we do have a passing train, which I believe is a Little Hampton to London Victoria service. So we'll just see that one go through now. It's 377433. And 441. So, uh, yeah, so it is a uh, Portsmouth Harbour and Southampton Central Brighton that do call here as well. So that's Southwick done. The next station for us is the last one of the day, Fishers Gate. About time. About time indeed. There's a lot of stations on this line, but we'll update you soon. Okay, arriving in now, it's going to be the 1709 Southern.
in service to uh, Brighton. 377412. We'll take this to the last station we need today, which is Fisher's Gate. Very busy again, as has been the theme in the last like two hours. But we'll update you when we get to Fisher's Gate, the last station we need today. So we've now reached the last station on the plan today, which is Fisher's Gate. And uh, this station is, um, so for the square bit of the main, it's located at a major boundary. Now, basically that means it's like a, a block between two pieces of land almost. Um, and this station is oddly close to one. Um, obviously not gonna go into too much detail about that, but uh, station is situated to well in an area of land that is a major boundary so yeah that's one thing to know uh, the station was used to be called and i'm guessing it's no surprise fisher's gate halt which changed in 1939 to fisher's gate and uh yeah <clears throat> and just like the others it's served by this one's served by an hourly service which is just the portsmouth harbour brighton and then aldrington and southampton brighton so yeah that is fisher's gate it looks incredibly close and similar to Aldrington in the sense of its looks. The footbridge is up there, uh, looks not too bad. But uh, yeah, a lot of these stations do share similar facts, so that's quite the main sort of moral of this. Um, but uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to finish up a uh, video here at Fisher's Gate. So thank you all for watching today's video from Fisher's Gate. Uh, but before we do finish, the guys have not forgotten the wick test oh, we're doing yeah, it here at fisher's gate penzance as well penzance to wick don't know do this though yeah let's change it and type it's like 3976 sorry oh my god it's so bad fishers you could just press that oh tickets from the station there we go do you want to do it Do the first class one. just say okay do the maximum amount which is nine ten people and anytime singles three thousand nine hundred and seventy six pounds from fisher's gate to wick and like seven thousand from Penzance. So, so yeah um so yeah there we go right we're going to uh finish up here so again thank you for watching and uh, we're going to see you in the next episode of every platform and the london travel card Alex and Brandon will be there again, as will Cam. Everyone's missed Cam. So we'll see him again too. And we'll also have Jay with us as well. So we'll have a few of us there. So guys, thank you for watching. And uh, if, if you do have a like to what you've seen, do like and subscribe and do leave any comments because I'll get back to them as and when I can. Uh, any recommendations are welcome, so please do leave those in the comments. They're eager to leave, Brandon and Alex. They're your eager to leave now. Uh, so, we're going to head off back towards London now. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.